Hello, my name is Whitney and this is a tutorial video for how to multiply and divide integers. We're going to go through ways to multiply and divide integers with these four different examples. The first, 2 multiplied by minus 6, will show us how to multiply two integers where one sign may be negative, the other sign is positive, so they have different signs. When this is the case, you can multiply the two numbers as if they were both positive and just put a minus sign in the product or the answer. So since they're different, we know the answer will be minus, and then 2 times 6 will be 12. So we have different signs which give us a negative answer. ANS is just short for answer. So now we have an example where both signs are negative. This would also be the same if both signs were positive. And in this case, the answer is going to be positive. And we can just ignore the signs and say 3 times 4, which will give us 12. So same signs will mean a positive answer. Now on to division. 6 divided by minus 2 the same sort of rules apply. So we have one negative sign and one positive, so our answer will be negative. And we just say 6 divided by 2, which will be 3, so minus 3. And now we have a case where both of the signs are positive. I'm sorry, both of the signs are the same, and our answer will be a positive answer. So minus 12 divided by minus 4, we know the answer will be positive, and then we just think of the two numbers as if they were both whole numbers, whole positive numbers, and say 12 divided by 4, which is 3. So the two rules for multiplication also hold for division of integers, and you see in these four cases that when the signs are different, the answer is going to be negative, and when the signs are positive, the answer will be positive as well. Thanks for watching. My name is Whitney, and this video explains how to multiply and divide integers.